<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. Alright, so like I said before, at the end of the last video, I think we're gonna tackle Warlick's little to-do list in this episode or in this recording session. As soon as we equip all of our stuff here. So in order to do that, we might need a little bit of help. Though, at least to begin with. Um, bacon move. We'll just do that. Hello, Valencia. Thank you, you are a peach. She really is one of my favorite allies as far as book one goes. Why is this happening? My game got all weird for a second. It's getting all weird again. Do you not like the elemental foothills? Alright, Nethera. Or Neth what, however you say your name, who cares? We're going to ask for Warlick real quick. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Anyway, save Limcrest. This was that qu this was that quest that I failed miserably to do that first time. We're going to give it another crack. Mm. That was awesome. All right. 48. It is out of control how much damage that she does with just regular attacks. Like, it's not very often that you're fighting with an ally who can hit harder than you. Usually I just take them along with me, more as a symbolic token of being, um, doing their quests and stuff. This one is actually very practical. We're not going to meet my other favorite ally for a long time, so I don't want to give it away. Because his storyline is awesome. Especially since the game encourages her, especially since she's like the third person you run into that you can recruit, too. It honestly is strange. I don't remember her being this good. Sorry, I'm repeating all the baffled reactions to Valencia's really hard hits that I had when I recruited her the first time. And it's probably not entertaining to hear. Well, it's probably not entertaining to hear, period, let alone again. Overestimating how hard I'm hitting, though. I'm just trying. Oh, I thought I accidentally clicked on potion. I'm sitting here thinking I have like the damage potential of my other character, where I'll just take out enemies with a single throw attack. I'm pretty sure we read all of this the first time, but I'll do it again. I must say, I'm surprised to see you here. I thought I finished off all of you heroes. When I burned Falcon Reach to the ground, haha, <laughs> good times, good times, Sand is a delight, let me tell you, 
He is evil, and he doesn't care. That's awesome. I don't know why you're doing this to the river, Zan, but you need to change it back. You're making the people of Limcrest suffer. Ah, hero, that is, that is exactly the reason I have replaced their precious river with lava. To make all those small-minded miners suffer. Change it back, Zan, or I will make you change it back. <laughs> and what will you do to me, little hero? Ow. Oh, I hit Valencia, too. That was a little reminder of my power with the Pyronomicon. <laughs> I didn't get that joke when I was younger. <laughs> it's really funny now, though. Neither you nor that fool Warlick can stop me. You will be ma all be made to suffer. Ha ha ha. You're not looking so well. Yeah, that really hurt. <laughs> Good. I'd stay to finish you, but I have other things to attend to. So I'll let Basalt finish you off. Finally, I have the power to punish Warlick for his crimes. Ha ha ha. Alright, Basalt. I'm pretty sure I made a basalt and battery joke already. And she does bleed damage with the- oh, I missed. Alright, wait, what? He's dazed twice? Ow. Which one does that? Is the knife that does? Is, is Valencia's throw a day's move? I would have figured it would have been the kick, since it's got like the same icon. Ow. I'm an idiot. I should have healed myself since then. Six. That is pretty snazzy. You got maybe two. Oh, painful blade. One more hit for sure. All right, basalt. I have vanquished you. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Zan has a pretty cool throne room. Look at that thing. That looks awesome. Hmm. More and more impressive. Warlick chooses his allies well. Not that it matters to me. With the Pyronomicon by my side, I cannot fail. You will pay Warlick, and I will and I won't allow Hunter to get in my way. Ha ha ha. Crackle crackle. Complete quest. The insane pyromancer Zan has replaced the water in Limcrest's river with scalding lava with a scalding lava flow. If you do not find a way to get the water back soon, Limcrest will be doomed. Doomed. Crackled light. This weapon crackles with energy, you can feel it radiating in your fingertips. So I guess I'll keep Valencia around until she happens to get killed. Um, let's see, a level 15 weapon, that's pretty nice though. And an energy weapon? I don't come across too many. That looks pretty cool too. Black blade with some gold on it? It's very snazzy looking. I can't wait to use that in... Probably before we're probably after we finish these quests, or maybe before even. Who knows? Oops. My bad. Sorry about that. 
other quests. Um, I don't exactly know, remember what the letter is. Fetching fire. I forgot to have him heal me. <laughs> oh, it heals Valencia too, alright. Sometimes heal in potions. It's very selective about it a lot of the time, but like, it'll only heal you and your partner will be toast. Anyway. I see Zen is behind the river of fire. All the elemental disturbances were most likely his do doing as well. You may have already found this out for yourself, but I should warn you if you wish to continue helping me. Zen is a very dangerous foe. He has been after me for years, and it seems if and if he sees you as my ally, he will continue. He will also be after you at all costs. His hate for me runs very deep. It goes back to the time we both spent in magic, the Magic Academy at, in Swordhaven. Zan and I were always competitive, but when it came to the affections of Jania, we were one day out, we were out of control. One day there was an accident. Zan was engulfed in flames, and the only thing that I could do to save him was change the normal fire into a healing fire. Ouch. So. So he's on fire, and it still hurts, but it can't kill him. For all his madness and hatred, I'm glad I was able to save him, but poor, beautiful Junia. Excuse me, I was lost in thought. Wait, did I... Did I read this out? I feel like I've read this before, like, recently. We will need a sample of the flaming water from the source. It flows from a sword in a fire cave in the elemental mountains. Bring me a sample of the pure flaming water so that I can test my theory. We will save Loomcrest together. If this has environmental hazards, I'll be mildly annoyed. Nice, the bat missed already. The bat missed. Oh, I missed. No, oh, I missed. Get it, Valencia. I am so stupid. <laughs> I. 170 HP on the bat, and I'm like, alright. Oh, it does have enough. Man, this is. I don't like lava caves. Ouch. At least, I don't think any of them are big enough jerks to, um, not give you a healing pad somewhere. Ooh, 103? That was delicious. <coughs> Alright, that's one down. Struck down the other one. Ouch. I like how it is only oh so slightly different from the uh, fire cave that we chased after Drakith in because of the way that the um, environment hazards are distributed here by like a geyser and they're also harder to just get past, apparently. They have a weird animation cycle. The lava drip thing from the other quest was easier to predict. Oh, thank you for that.
Yikes. Alright, so... Sit here and heal real quick. Why'd Valencia heal so much? Well, I'm... I was closer to dying than she was, that would be why. I'm silly. Alright. Basalt again? Just as a regular enemy hanging out now, though? This is annoying. Ooh, with 107, though. And I dodged you. Suck it, man. I would like to say he got easier, but he still has the same amount of HP and stuff. I'm just not at half of my health for this fight. I was gonna say it seems like things are going smoother, but of course I'm going, or I'm fighting him with nigh full strength. Dual attack. New doctor. No, honestly, though, I think when I first played this game, it took me a while to go see if Warlick ever wanted me to do anything else outside of when he helped with the Black Dragon box. So it was kind of strange to see his feud with Zan just kind of pop up into a... Like, I felt like I didn't have very much context for it for a while. It was just something that was known, was that they hate each other. Well, Zan hates Warlick. Warlick just, uh... You get my point. So, eventually I did find it, and the subsequent quests that happen after that. That'll... hot, hot, hot feet, hot feet, hot feet. Nice. Alright, we got, I guess, two more fights to go here. It'll be nice when we get to um, later areas in the game, or later quests, and we actually have music to go along with our uh, adventures here. Because there's music in the like towns and stuff now, but I don't think they were very concerned with adding some tunes to the uh, experience for the beginning parts of the game. Like anytime music would pop up uh, very early in the years of Dragon Fable, you knew serious business was about to go down. You have secured a sample of the magical flaming water for Warlick. Now he will be able to help the people of Limcrest change their river back to cool, drinkable water. Magma belt. And I can wear it. Awesome. It'll beat the one I'm... It seems to be better than the one I have now. Yeah. Alright. I can appreciate that. Why do you keep doing this game? Why are you like this? 